video, I'm going to show you how to create some bolted connections. Now, bolted connections is a great way to be able to get a, a bolt with a wash, washer and a nut um, all into one sub-assembly and be able to place it either by using a template or using the bolted connection uh, very quickly through the content center. So if you didn't know about it, we Inventor has got a content center, which if you select place, place from content center. And this is where all your nuts, bolts, washers, flanges, um, you know, any mold features, sheet metal features, shaft parts exist. Um, as you can see over here, I've got quite a few bolts over here. I'm going to choose a hex head, but I want to put a bit of a filter on. So if you select over here, I can put my ISO filter on, and then it just filters out the bolts that I need. I'm going to use the ISO 4017. And when I bring the bolts in over here, you'll see there's a question mark, and it hasn't really sized. Um, it's, it's giving a random size. So what I'm going to do over here now is if I bring it to where in the position where I want to place the bolt, a little green tick appears, and it tells me, right, I found the size of bolt that I want for the size hole. Uh, would you like to accept it? And I say, yes. Great. Now what's happening over here, it says, would you like to create, You would you like to put this bolt in? So I can just say apply, and it'll just put the single bolt in. Um, or what I can do is I can say, I'd actually like to put a bolted connection in. So with this bolted connection, I select that, and it brings up the bolted connection dialog box. Now, you, what is familiar about this bolted connection is if you've ever created a hole in Inventor, you'll see that these are the four different ways that you can create a hole in Inventor. So linear, concentric, on point, and by hole. And the nice thing about the bolted connection is that if you, for instance, have two plates, which don't have any holes currently residing in it, you can say, right, I'd like a bolted connection between these two plates, and it'll also cut the holes through, and it will cut it right down into the part environment. Normally, if you do a, an extrusion or a hole in, in the assembly environment on a part, it doesn't go into the part file. So, for instance, I mean, if I had to now open or edit that part, that hole would not appear there. It is only visible in your assembly environment. So, with this, I'm going to, I've already selected my starting plane, my existing hole, and I'm going to say, right, I'd like to put the termination. So just popping this around the other side, I can say the termination is on that face over there. Now, on the right-hand side of here, it allows me to fill up my, my, my bolted connection. So the first one it's going to put is an ISO 4017 M10 by 20. If I'd like to put a washer just behind the head of that bolt, I can say click add a fastener. But I actually don't want to. I just want to have a washer on the other side. That's the nut that's going to hold it in place. So you can see there, select hold, it's existing. I'm going to say click add a fastener. Now, sometimes this might take a bit long, and if it does take long, it's because of the filters. So if you've got filtering out every single component you have in your content center library, uh, you will not be able to, uh, you know, it will take a little bit of time. So just be patient or put your filters on. Now let's go take a look at the washer that I want. Select that, and you'll actually see it gives a preview of that washer on the other side of, of these components over here. And then I'm going to go click to add a fastener, and I'm going to say, right, let's do a ISO 7042 bolt, I mean, uh, nut. Okay, so there we go. Now, I've still got quite a few holes left over here. So one, two, three, four, five. And I don't want to have to go do that all over again. Select termination, select the washer, select the nut. So what it allows you to do at the bottom of here is it allows you to add it to a template library. So I can say, right, add. And it'll ask me for a template description. So I'm going to say my first bolted connection. Okay. And uh, and great, there we go. So now it sets it as that. And then I can just click on apply and it puts in the bolted connection over there for me. Oh, sorry, let me just save that. And it saves my bolted connection for me and places it in there. So you'll see. It will now start to populate. There's my bolted connection. Now, with as with all design accelerator, as you see, here's the bolted connection. As will the design accelerator components to Inventor. Um, I to go edit this. I right click on the bolted connection and I say edit using design accelerator. And I can also delete design accelerator component. Now, if I want to go put another bolted connection in, but not go through my place from content center, go to my design tab, select bolted connection. And this time you see there, buy hole, start plane. There we go. And then existing hole. Call it 
one, two. <clears throat> okay, so it's not looking at a whole. Let's try concentric. Okay, there we go. So I think I didn't create it as a whole. I created that as a circular extrusion cut. So there we go. And I'm going to just select the other side. And then instead of having to go now and click to add fastener, I'm going to select my first bolted connection and go set. And there we go. It populates everything over there for me. Apply and then carry on. So this is just another way that Inventor and the Content Center and Bolted Connection really does make generating content very quick and easy um, for you to get your, your design up and running. And that is Inventor's Bolted Connection. Thank you very much for watching.